So again, welcome. My name is Judy Miller, and today is the second of a three-part series. Today we're going to be talking about the email builder. We're going to be taking some of the stuff we learned yesterday and adding it onto this, and tomorrow we'll be doing campaign builder, which is the best one by far. So let's get started. With your Infusionsoft application, you do have access to our help center. Our help center has access to the user guide. So if you say, how do I add a picture? How do I get pictures? You can type it in the user guide and you can find the answers out. Also access to our tech support numbers. There is kind of a long hold today and they're going to be off this afternoon, but um, you can always email me at basictraining at infusionsoft.com if you can't get all the tech support. You have access to our mastermind webinars, which are about five rungs higher than these basic training webinars. So if you're looking for a specific topic, you can search in our help center. And if there's a mastermind webinar, you can find it there. And also access to our chat, which is 24-7. So if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, you'll have access to the chat at 2 o'clock in the morning because it is 24-7. I have some people just joining, so welcome. And I am recording this, and you will get a recording. So you didn't really miss anything yet, but don't. Don't worry. So a lot of people come to this webinar thinking we're going to do a campaign. And although there are emails in a campaign, today we're working on an email broadcast, and I'm going to explain the difference. A broadcast is a one-time email that's sent off either to your entire list for like a newsletter or sent off to a specific group. Today we're having a special um, yoga event for just beginning yoga students. So I'm going to search for everyone with the beginning yoga student tag, and I'm going to invite them in a batch email that's just targeted to a specific group of people. A campaign's a little bit different. I like to think of it as a chain link fence because a campaign is a series of emails, and they're connected with timers. And it's for either automated follow-up or setting up automation for your team, workflow automation. It may be for a long-term nurture or just giving people information that they want to find out about your business. There may be tasks and other items in there, but there are emails, and you do have to know how to make an email in order to put an email in a campaign. So whether you're going to do a campaign or come to Campa Campaign Builder tomorrow, or you've already sent off your first broadcast, you still do need to know how to create an email in order to use it in a campaign. So here's an example of a broadcast. I own a gym, trying to get people to come in. There's lots of people on my list, but none of them have come in yet. They're not customers. Uh-oh, you're not seeing the slides. Now you're seeing the slides. So let me go back. I will send the slide deck so that you guys have access to this. Here's the first slide where I went over help.infusionsoft.com, and I'm really sorry that it wasn't working. Here's the broadcast, and then I explain what it is that a broadcast is a group, an email that goes out to a specific batch of people. And then here's the campaign with the chain link fence and the series. So I'll send out this slide deck so you guys have access to these because you weren't seeing them. Here's an example of a broadcast. I own a gym. These people are not yet customers yet, but I want to invite them to come in. I want them to get their five, their, their pass for five free classes. Scared to wear that bathing suit? Ah, uh, don't be. Join us at Fitness for You and make good in your promise to live healthier in 2017. Click on the link below and get your five for free pass. Look cute in that suit, Team Fitness. And I'm going to go and scan and look for criteria from my list of people that want to come for weight loss, want to tone up, or want to come for social fun. I'm going to look for those people and then send them that email broadcast so they can click on the five passes for free. This is a campaign sequence, and we're going to learn more on how to make a campaign tomorrow. A campaign has a start at the beginning, and you can see that in two days after that person joins that campaign, they're going to get the welcome and get ready email. And then in two days after that, after they get the first email, they're going to get the what's going on email. And then three days after that, are you hot? So I have a series going out to get people to push a button to maybe get, um, get a task to give, for me to give them a call and talk to them about the gym. It's automated, and those emails are going out two days, two days, and then three days. And that's automated follow-up right there, and we'll learn about that one tomorrow. 
Some awesome things you're going to be learning today is how to create an email template. You're going to be able to create templates so if you have more than one business, you can make a template for your vitamin business and a template for your healthy eating business. So you're going to be able to have different templates that have different messages. I'm going to show you how to add pictures and images, how to add videos to that email too. I'm going to give you some ideas on why we would send a broadcast and not do a campaign, how to send an email or broadcast to your entire list, and then how to send a broadcast just to a targeted group of people, just those people that aren't customers yet that I want to invite to my yoga class. I have a little summer theme going on. Even though it's only 77 in Arizona right now and we're having wonderfully cool weather, I still have a beach theme going on. I should have put some, some snow and some clouds. So why send a broadcast? First reason, special greeting. Memorial Day is coming up. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, any special holiday that you just want to send a greeting, you don't really want to push them to buy, you just want to send them a greeting so that they'll remember you when they're ready to buy, it just may be a special holiday greeting. There's a cool book out there called Guerrilla Marketing, and in Guerrilla Marketing they say, Happy Sandwich Day, the Earl of Sandwich created today. Happy Royal Wedding Day, Lady Diana got married 20 years ago, I mean, or 25 years ago. Crazy stuff like that to get people to open up an email and create that relationship. It may be that something's happening. Somebody just may have bought a $5,000 program from you, and they go to their, your website to show their friends, and there's nothing there. They get an error. So you might just want to send an email out to your, your customers saying, hey, don't be alarmed. My website is under review. You know, we're changing it around. We're updating it. We're giving it a facelift. So don't be concerned. It'll be back up and running, and I'll let you know when it's here again, when it's back, when it's new. It may be to create urgency, and this is our Black Friday, and Home Depot does a great job of Black Friday in July. They create urgency for this day only. Um, I think I skipped the special offer, but creating urgency for today only. There's only five seats left to my webinar. Hey, I only have five iPads for sale. Sign up now, you know, and you can buy one for $5. It may be a special offer for today only. I'm giving out $25 off of my product. So it's those kind of, of emotional triggers that get people to buy. We want what we can't have, and we really want it when somebody else has it and we don't. And that's that create urgency. And the most important reason to send a broadcast, personally I think, is to create and build a relationship. People buy from people they like. And if you are selling something that somebody needs, they have a pain and they need to fix it, they're going to go to their friends. And if they create a relationship with you, they're going to come to you. Case in point, this is my granddaughter Everly. She's going to be two years old in September. Last time I shared this, I got an email from one of the attendees that said, hey, I have a granddaughter named Everly, too. True story. She's going to be two also, so it must have been a really popular name at that time. But all of a sudden, we're communicating with each other. And if I had my business and I was selling a product, I would, she would be inclined to buy that product when her pain was big enough and she needed that product because we created a relationship and we're friends. I know you guys probably already know all that, but it's always good to hear it again. So our email builder, it's easy to use. Again, you can create multiple templates for your different businesses. It's mobile optimized, so it looks really nice on a tablet and a phone. You can save and use templates in the campaign builder. So if you make the best email ever, you can save it in your templates and drag it into the campaign builder when you're creating a campaign and not have to make it all over again. And it's fun. It's really fun to create an email template inside Infusionsoft. For creative people like me, I really like it. For people that aren't creative and tech savvy, it's really easy to use. So let me get in and show you how to use our email builder. Log into Infusionsoft. Just to let everyone know, if you don't already know, when you log into Infusionsoft and you look up to the browser window on top, if someone asks you what your app name is, it's right before the dot infusionsoft.com, and that's your app name. So if you don't know it, that's just a little tip. Let me get out of my, get onto my Ethernet because it works a little bit faster. When you open up Infusionsoft, you land on your dashboard. And even if you're just playing around with Infusionsoft and you're not really going to send a broadcast, you're still going to go to the same place. And the place is, hover over the Infusionsoft logo, 
come to the marketing section and down to emails and broadcasts and click it one time. When you do, it's going to bring you to this page and you're just going to hit that, I call it a vitamin pill, looks like a big vitamin tablet, get started and click it one time. Then you're going to land on our gallery and I'm going to go over this and I like to take out my highlighter because I'm very visual and you're going to land on your gallery and a gallery is filled with different templates that we've created for you that can be used as your starting point. When you scroll down, there, there's even a plain one right here if you don't want any images and any colors. These are just starting points that you can start from and you can change it as you go along. It's a template that's created for you. The second tab is previously sent. I call these buckets. And if you already sent out an email and you're like, oh, where is it? It's in your previously sent bucket automatically. When you're creating an email and you're just goofing around with Infusionsoft, if you have to leave your computer or it shuts off for some reason because it's updating, your email will automatically be saved in drafts, so you never have to be worried that, dag nabbit, my email's gone, I was just working on it. So it will be in the drafts bucket. And if you save an email in your templates, it will be in the template bucket, and that's the one that you can take that email and smoosh it right into the campaign builder, technical term but you're always going to land on your gallery, which is home base where you get to choose your first template. So I'm going to choose my first template now. I can scroll down and see which one I want to use, and I kind of like this one right here. The We Like You. Mm, no, I like this one, the Season Sale. I'm going to hit Use Template if I want to see what it looks like. I click on the eyeball and it will give me a preview of it on a tablet and also on a phone so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to use this one even though it's kind of gray. That's the kind of day we're having in, in Arizona right now, but I'm going to show you how to change it. When you first open up your email, a slider is going to pop down. I call it a mini blind. I always have names for these things. And it starts with from and you get to decide who this email is coming from. If they don't know you by John and they don't know you by Judy and they don't know you by Sandy, they know you by your business name. Just click on the little pencil, hit the arrow going down, and click on other and you can change it. So I'm going to put um, my business name right here. And then I'm going to put my email address. And this is the email address that you want these emails replied to. So if someone actually replies to this email and says, oh my gosh, this baby is so cute. My granddaughter's name is Everly too. Who do I want them to reply to? Do I want them to reply to info at Instant Marketing Ideas? Do I want them to reply to my admin? Nope, I want them to reply to me. And I hit save. The next are recipients. We're not going to pick those yet because we're just playing around with it, but I do need a subject line. So I'm going to say, your newsletter is now here. And then I'm going to put three dots, and I want to put their first name. I want to personalize it. In order to put their first name and personalize it, you come over to the Merge button. It's right next to the subject line to the right. And when I click in it, a drop-down is going to appear. And that drop down is saying, what field do you want us to drop into that subject line? I want to drop in the most common fields and their first name. So it's going to say, your newsletter is now here, Barney. Your newsletter is now here, Judy. Where is the ME email in Infusionsoft? Where is the ME email in Infusionsoft? I'm going to have to talk to you that, I'm going to have to ask you that offline so that I can understand what you're asking, Barney, but I'll keep on track and then I'll get back with you. So this is my slider. I'm going to hit the arrow going up, and when I hit the arrow going up, it will be gone for a little bit. I can always grab it back, and now I get to work on my email. The email starts in design phase, and this is where you get to pick your colors. I can go to the toolbar on the left, starting on the bottom, I can change my email position to left or center. I can change the background color by hitting the little, the little square, and I can change the background color. I'm going to make it gray so you can see it really well. Maybe a lighter gray. There. Actually, if I set it blue, then you can see it really well. So I'm doing that just for an example so you can see that you have the email pops up. I can change the hyperlink color. So if I have any link in there, I can change the color. And I'm going to change it to red so you can see that happen. And I can change the text style too if I want to. 
I'm going to change this back down to a gray color except blue is just too bright. So once I go in and fix my design, I can always go back and change the colors if I want to. Then I'm going to start on my email. And this is a template, so if I put my cursor in any areas of this template, I can change it. So I'm going to pick the image, the season's biggest sale, shop now. I can use that one, one if I want. So if I click on it, you'll notice that the toolbar on the left changes. I can use this image, and then I can take the Shop Now button, and I can put a link right here. So I can send it to www.infusionsoft.com or my, my landing page if I want them to land on my landing page. We talked a little bit about tags yesterday. If somebody clicks on this, the season's biggest sale, Shop Now, if they click on the Shop Now button, I want to tag them. So I know exactly who's clicked on the Shop Now button and who didn't. So I can mark it to them in two different ways. So I want to tag them. Click on the tag, and then if I don't have the tag created, I can make it right on the fly. So I'm going to call this Clicked on Shop Now link. Create tag. Done. And now if they click on that, they'll automatically get that tag. But if I don't want that image, I can change the image by going to the left and hitting Change Image. And when I do it, it will bring up my library. I want to find my hearts. There it is. You can even type. You can add a new image when you hit Change Image. You can add an image by hitting Browse and add your own image too. I just happen to have this one right here. Once I click on my image, I can make it bigger or smaller by playing around with the toggle bar. I can link it to something. If I want to link it, it's already linked to clicked on the Shop Now link. Let me go back there. It's already linked to Infusionsoft.com because that's where I have it linked to. And you always want to put a description, so I'm going to put Company Banner. That's the image on top. That is my banner. Then I come down to the next section. It's called Section Header. If you have emails in MailChimp or AWeber or Constant Contact, you can go copy them and paste them right here. But if I'm going to start from scratch, I can just put my title right here. Once I put in my title, I can change the, um, the color by highlighting it, going to the little black toolbar on top, and changing the color just like that. I can come down, and I can change whatever I want to change in here. And just say I want to make a link. Click here to find out more. Click here to find out more about my May showers deal. If I want to link it, I'm just going to highlight the words that I want to link. So I put my cursor over and highlight it. This black toolbar will show up, and you'll see that little chain link fence. When I click on the link, I just put in the URL that I want. If I want to add a document, so maybe it's click here to get my five ideas. Let me change it. So click here to get my marketing ideas now. So instead of a link, I want to add a document. I want to give them a free report. So I'm going to highlight it, come to the link in the black toolbar, and instead of the URL, I'm just going to hit this arrow going down, and I'm going to come down to File Download. I'm going to click that one time. When I do, I can either upload a new file, so you can see that little vitamin button, what Infusionsoft will do is it will take that file that you add to it and put it on Infusionsoft servers and we will host it for you. I already have my document in here, so I'm just going to hit the little arrow going down and look for it. Oh, there it is, five fun newsletter ideas. Now I want to tag it. If they actually click on the link and download my ideas, I want to tag them. Downloaded ideas. Done. Insert link, and you'll notice the link is red because I went, when I went into the design phase, I made the hyperlink red. If you decide, man, that's too much red in that email, they're not even going to see that it doesn't jump out at them. I need to make the link a different color because I want them to click in it. It's my call to action. So I'm going to come back to design. 
come to my hyperlink button and I'm going to change it to blue. And just like that, it will change the color. Underneath the content, there's a dividing line. And if I click on it, you'll notice that the toolbar on the left changed. I can make the dividing line bigger or smaller just by using the toggle. And I can also change the color. Anytime you see a little box there, you can change the color. Here's my next section. There's an image to the left. I can click on that image and I can change the image just by clicking here. And I'm going to change the image to fun. And then I can make it bigger or smaller. And if I'd like to link it, I can link it. I can even put my phone number there. So when they click on the link, my phone number pops out. My short description is fun button. Again, over here, I can change my content. And there's a link right here. You'll notice that the link is blue because I changed the hyperlink color to blue. If I change it back to red, that will turn red. Then you'll see there's another dividing line. Click on the dividing line. I can either come and change the color right here, or I can just duplicate this dividing line by hitting the duplicate. Delete this one. And because I don't remember the color, I'm just going to move this one down here. And now I have the same exact dividing line, same exact size, height, etc. If you want to delete the dividing line, just hover over it, click on it, and hit the delete button. And then there's more copy right here. This is a social media snippet. I'm going to go over the social media snippet in a moment when I go over, go over the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So here's my email, and you know what? It's missing some things, so I want to add to this email. It's awesome. It was a great template to start with, but I want to add some stuff to it, maybe a social media snippet, maybe another picture, maybe a video. So I'm going to come over to the very, very left and click on blocks. And blocks are like little Lego blocks that I can use to build out this template if I want to add to it. I'd like to add a video. So I'm going to find the video block. Here it is. Move it right on top and let it go. When I let it go, the toolbar on the left is going to change. So I'm going to open up my Firefox and I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to search for Relaxing Rain Video. So I'm going to click on that. Let me pause it. When I click on it, I'm going to grab the URL in the browser window, and I'm going to copy it. Go back into Infusionsoft, come over to the left-hand toolbar, and I'm going to paste that URL right there, and the video will appear right on top. Ta-da! Doesn't really look like a May shower. It looks like a, a thunderstorm. Then if I want to know if they clicked on the link or not, if they clicked on the video, I can tag them. Just like that. I can make the video bigger or smaller by using the toggle, and I can even left, right, or center. Now I'd like to add some text. If I want to add text, I just grab the text box, and I can put it right underneath the picture, and I can add content right there. So it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. If I don't want the text, I can hit the Delete button and get rid of it. What if I want a button that says Click Here to Watch Video? So maybe I just want an image and I want to click now or buy now, register for my event, sign up for my, my free chapter of my book, sign up for my ideas. If I want to add a button, I just come to my blocks, grab a button, and place the button where I want it. When I add the button, on the left-hand side, the button builder opens up. So you'll see a pattern here. This is the button text. I'm going to change this to get ideas, get a storm of ideas now. The button type is going to be a URL, and I'm going to put in the same exact URL for that um, storm if I want to put a video there, or I can put in my file download of my five ideas. I can tag them. So you only want to tag things if it makes sense to you.
If I don't really need to know if they watch the video, if it's not going to do anything for me, and I don't care, it was just for fun, fiddlesticks, I don't need to tag them. But I do want to know if they downloaded my ideas. So I do want to tag that. And then I can change the color of the button, and I think I'll make it kind of a blue color that matches the storm. Or I can make it black that matches the Play Now button so it really pops out. But you get to create your own buttons if you want to. If I want to add another button next to it, I just grab the button and play around with it until it's placed there. And it can say Watch Video or Get Ideas Now. So you can add more than one button. To delete it, I just hit Delete. If I want to add an image, so I'm going to get rid of the video. If I want to add an image, I just come to the Image block, place the image where I want it, and then I have my library. If I want to add a brand new image, I just can hit Browse and I can add a brand new image. I just put in a new image, so I'm going to hit Browse. I'm going to go to my Fun and Fusion Stuff stuff, and I'll put in this little ugly dog. That didn't go in. I probably already have that inside Infusion Soft, so let me see. And there's my fox. He's a little pixelated, so I'll make him a little bit smaller. So you can see that you can use those blocks to add snippets. Now I want to add my social media snippet, my social media block. Grab social, I'm going to put it right on top of the fox and let it go. You'll see that it's gray in color. The one that I deleted had color to it. This means it's not set up yet. And to set it up, you simply go to the toolbar on the left, and you go to Facebook and type in your Facebook URL. Once you do, the Facebook will appear in the Facebook color. If I want to use um, my Twitter, put in your Twitter handle. If I want to add more, I just hit the little plus sign, and I can add my YouTube just by starting typing in there, and I can even add my Pinterest, and you'll see those buttons appear. It does not transfer over to different templates, so if you want to save all these URLs, get a Microsoft Excel, you know, get an Excel spreadsheet, put these in there so you'll always have access to them, you don't have to look from every single time. I recommend, and this is just one of my tips, is if you have your social media snippet on top, make a duplicate of it, and then move one to the bottom, because when they're on the, their phone, they may scroll down, 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 and they're not going to go back up to the top to follow you on Facebook. So let me show you what it looks like by hitting Preview. And I see the social media snippets there, but when I scroll down and look at this part, I don't see the snippets anymore. So I put it on the bottom, too, so when they scroll down to the bottom, if they want to check me out on YouTube, they can. Let me pause for a second and get a drink. And I'm back. The last snippet I want to show you before showing you how to send a broadcast and dissecting a template that I already created, I'm going to go back to blocks and I'm going to grab the signature snippet. Let me put it up on top of the social media. So the signature snippet gives you the opportunity to send off an email. So let me give you an example. I'm a realtor. I own a brokerage. I have 25 realtors that work for me. I send off a newsletter at the 5th of every month. I don't send it the 1st because everybody gets stuff on the 1st. But people don't really get stuff on the 5th. So I send it out in the 5th. I don't want to send it all Judy's leads, all Tom's leads, all Paul's leads, all Cody's leads. I want to send one email, but I want the signature to be from each of the agents that actually is working with that particular customer. So it automatically defaults to the contact owner. So if I sent this out and Judy was the contact owner, my signature would appear. If John was the contact owner, John's signature would appear. I'm going to go ahead and click just Judy. I may want to send this out just from the broker. And there's my signature right there. If I move it down a little bit, it will be less. It will go all the way across. It was next to something. And that's a signature. It's great if you're sending out your holiday newsletter and you want each person's signature to appear. But you don't have to use our signature. You can make your own signature on every email. Best, your company, and image can go here, too. 
So you can just make your own signatures per template. You are not locked down to the one signature that you get inside of Infusionsoft, especially because there's really not anything you can do to it. You fill in the blanks and it creates that signature for you. But if you like it, you can use it. I'm going to go ahead and exit this now. Go into My Templates, and I'm going to open up one that I already created for today. Before I send off a broadcast, I'm going to dissect this and show you all the different pieces of it. Then we're going to go into our dashboard and actually send it out. So I'm going to hit Use Template, and it's going to open up the template that I created, and we're going to look at the different pieces. Top is a banner, dividing line, image, so there's not a video here, it's just an image, content, click here to watch now, so I made a link. My link is light blue, but if I want to change the color, I can change the color if I want to. I need it to be dark blue. There's a recipe of the month. Get the recipe here, so I made a, a button that redirects them to a recipe. Get ready for summer. Five ideas of fun things to do for the summer. Enjoy being happy and see you next month, Judy. And that's my newsletter, that simple. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm not trying to be an affiliate for anybody. I'm just trying to teach people, create a relationship, and show them, are you happy? So I have just fun information here. I'm going to change the background color. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and send this now. So I'm going to go to my dashboard and show you how you start from the very beginning to send it out. So I'm going to hit Exit. I'm going to exit out of the Email Builder, and I'm going to go to the very, very beginning on my dashboard. When you open up Infusionsoft and you're ready to send out your first broadcast, you're going to land in your dashboard. I'm going to hover over the Infusionsoft logo, come to Marketing, down to Emails and Broadcasts, and click it one time. Hit the blue Get Started button. It will bring me into my gallery. I already created a template, so I'm going to go to my templates. So far, so simple. It's usually a lot faster than this. I'm just back in a cave in the webinar room. I call it my cave. Come on, open up. This is the template I want to use. So you can see if I scroll down, I have lots of different templates. But you can see that the different, if we dissect them, you can see the different features that I used. I want to use this one, so I'm going to click on it. Now I'm ready to send it. I don't need to put anything else. It looks good. I'm ready to send it. So I'm going to hit Schedule or Send. It's up in the right-hand corner. When I do, Infusionsoft will go through that email, and it will show you things that are ready and things that, that aren't ready. Well, my from is good. Can you guys still hear me? Something just beeped weird. Can you still hear me? Awesome. There's a little red exclamation point there, and that means, wait a minute, something's wrong here. You have your email done. It looks great. You have a good subject, you have a good email that it's coming from, but you don't have recipients. Please pick your recipients. So we're going to go ahead and pick our recipients. When I click in the recipients box, if I saved a search, and we talked about that yesterday, that you can save searches of specific criteria, you can just start typing in that saved search. Yesterday I saved my 1, 2, 3 May attendees list, and you'll see that there's 12 people there. You can have saved searches, and it will make it really easy. It's my newsletter list. Click on it, and it will just bring up those people. But I don't really want to send it to them because I don't want to spam them. So I'm going to hit X. If you're going to send it to your entire list, your newsletter list is your entire list, just hit the New Search link. It will open up this box, and do not pick any criteria. No criteria, just hit Search. And that will scoop up all your contacts, and your entire list of 216. If you aren't sure who you want to send it to, you just want to do a search for tags, you can click on New Search, and you can say, hmm, I just want to find people with the tag Downloaded Ideas. Beginner yoga student that don't have the tag. Customer. 
and then I hit search. So you can choose your criteria and it will bring up the people that match that criteria. We talked about this yesterday. People that are searching for a home, they want to buy it in three to six months, they want to spend $250,000 or less, and they need a two-car garage. You can search for that criteria and send off your broadcast with, I found the perfect house for you. And it's just going to that targeted group of people. It's not going to the people that want a three-car garage because I only have a couple houses that have two-car garages. It will just make them mad. And they'll lose faith in you. Target to the right people. Market to the right target. That's how I wanted to say it. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to send this new search just to Abe because I don't want to spam anybody, and Abe always knows that, that he gets my emails on two, Wednesdays. When I pick Abe, it's going to go to just one person, and then I'm going to hit the schedule or send again, and this time you'll see green, yes. Recipients, great. Subject, yes. Date and time, well, do I want to send this at a specific date and time, or do I want to send it now? Well, I'm sending it now. So I'm going to scroll down, hit the Send Now radio button, hit the blue Send Now, and it will scoop up those people and send off that email to that group of people. Once it does, it's going to send you to a different screen. And this is our email batch report. Once it's sent, it's going to show you a little pie graph. It's the only one I understood in junior high, so it's a good graph. And it will let you know how many emails you sent out, how many unique opens you had, how many people didn't open them. That's really valuable if you're saying, hey, don't come to my class tonight. My daughter's in the hospital having her baby, so I'm canceling class. I will reschedule. An hour before, you might want to check the people that didn't open it and resend out that email and say, warning, warning, warning. Do not come to class tonight. I'm going to be in the hospital with my daughter. If you want to learn more about these reports, you can go to our Help Center and put type in email broadcast reports, and it will go over every single one of those links. So let me show you how to get back here. If I went back to emails and broadcasts, I'm like, oh, man, I want to see that report again. Hover over the Infusionsoft logo. Come to Marketing down to reports, click it one time. We just sent an email broadcast, so we're going to look for the report called email broadcast. There it is. Click it one time. All your broadcasts will come up. Here's the I'm so happy. Hit view, and that report will show up exactly again. Well, Judy, is there any way I can put a report on my dashboard? You can. If you go to dashboards, and some people already have this, but if you're brand new, you may not, there's a report or a widget called All Email Stats. And I can just look today and see the stats for today. If you don't have that on your dashboard, you're brand new, it's not on there, and you're like, man, I want that report, come to the button that says Add Widgets on the right-hand side and click it one time. Search for the All Email Stats widget and add it to your dashboard. It's automatically going to go to the left and it's going to take up a lot of your, your dashboard real estate. So just right click or left click and move it to the right and now you'll have it on the right just like that. It doesn't have the unopens, so I like the other report better because I can see who didn't open it and then I can mark it to them different than the people that opened it. I can also do a search and say, hey, I want to find everyone that watched the video and downloaded the ideas. And if they didn't you know, become a customer, I can market to them differently than I'd market to people that already got the email but didn't do anything. If they didn't do anything, they're not engaged, and I market to them a little bit less aggressively. So let's go ahead and send a broadcast again, and then I'll get to questions. Marketing, emails and broadcasts. Get started. Either start from scratch or go to your previously sent or your templates. Dun, 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 dun. I hate when I have to wait, and I hate when it's quiet. Let's see, I'll send off this one. Change anything I needed to change. Image, dividing line, image, content, content, link, content. 
my favorite video of the week with the cute little kitty cat video, click here now, and my signature and dividing line. Pretty easy when you start dissecting it, it's pretty darn easy. Schedule or send. Uh-oh, don't have my recipients. Come in and pick my recipients. New search. I'm going to send this to Abe. There's my one person. Schedule or send. If you're going to be on a, a plane to Hawaii tomorrow and you want this to go out tomorrow at 6 o'clock in the morning, you can hit schedule or send. Schedule to send. I'm going to hit send now. Send it now. And just like that, my email goes off. So it's pretty easy to send a broadcast, and it's super, super important to start creating those relationships. So I always give you a challenge at the end of my webinar. My challenge is create an email template. Add a link, add an image, add a document, add a video, and then put yourself in your CRM and send a broadcast to yourself and see how it looks. Save the template to your library. Watch the recording, and I'm also going to be sending you a little workbook that I created so that you guys can go through the video and answer the questions in the workbook so that you'll get to know Infusionsoft faster and easier. If you'd like to add Judy Miller to your CRM, you can add me. I give you permission to market to me. Basic training at Infusionsoft.com. I actually bought um, a coaching session, a training session on how to use YouTube. I bought it because somebody marketed it, to, marketed it to me in a broadcast, and I actually spent $75 and bought it, and it taught me so much. So let's go to questions. So, Felipe, I think I answered your question, how do you delete things inside your email, but let me show you anyway. i got to get into Chrome. If you're in your email template, I think if I just go to Gallery, it will open this up faster. If you want to delete something, like the generic enterprises, just highlight over it, click it, and then hit the trash can. And that will delete it. How do you stop or change the email release time for a scheduled broadcast? So that's a great question. If you schedule the broadcast, and then you're like, dang, nah, but I need to change something. I put the wrong two in there. I put T-O-O -O instead of T-W-O, and they're going to think I'm an idiot. I need to change it. You can't just come into the email and broadcast section and change it. Let me show you where you change it. You come over to Admin, Reports, and click the Reports one time. Scheduled Actions, you'll click on the Scheduled Actions, and it will bring up all the broadcasts, and then you can click on the one that you want to change. So it's under Infusionsoft Logo, Admin, Reports, and then Scheduled Actions. Great question. John, can you add a form to a template where someone can provide a referral in exchange for, say, a chance for a prize. You can add a form for someone to um, give a referral, but it has to be done in the Campaign Builder. So in the Campaign Builder, you need to make the form. Once you make the form, you can go into the Email Builder. We'll learn how to make a form tomorrow. So you can either have them reply, hey, reply to this email and give me a referral, then you don't have to use the Campaign Builder yet. But if you want them to give you a referral and you want them to fill out a form, I can put it right here. Click here to refer a friend. And um, be added to my drawing for $1,000. Highlight, come to the little chain link fence, and this time you would add a form. So if you notice it says form right there, and the web form that you created inside Infusionsoft you'd put right there, and people can click in it and open up that form in the email and fill it out. We're going to learn how to make those forms in the Campaign Builder tomorrow. They will be added to your database automatically if someone fills out that form and they will get the tag referral if you set it up that way. Marlise asked, 
Can you schedule more than one broadcast at a time? You can. How do you add a link to a newsletter again? To add a link, highlight, come up to the little black toolbar, click on it, and then you'll add the link right there. Or if you're going to put in an image, you click on the image, come over to the left toolbar, and add your link. www.infusionsoft.com Or if you have a landing page that you want them to go to to register, click on the arrow going down, click on landing page, and it, you'll choose the landing page that you want from your Infusionsoft app. Why is CC not available in Infusionsoft's email? I'm not sure, Felipe. It used to be in our template, in our old builder, our legacy builder. You can use the CC. Um, uh, I can't think of the word. You can CC people, but in the new builder you can't, and I don't know why, so I don't have an answer for you. Barney, when you use the email address other than your own, where do you find the replies? Well, whatever email address that you put here, so I have Infusionsoft.com, but if I wanted to put other, and I put Hey Jude Miller, that's where the re replies will be. They'll go to Hey Jude Miller. If you have an admin in Texas and they're answering your emails, it will go to whatever email you put right here. Marlies said, I scheduled an email for, I think it says 800 hours, I can't read it, and another for 8.30, and only the second one was sent. Why was the first one not sent? I think that you'll have to call tech support on that, Marlies. They'll have to check and see how it was set up. Um, if you set one for 8 o'clock and one for 8.30, they should both be sent out. Um, if, if you had people that were opted out, I, I'm not sure that would be a tech support question. They'd have to go in and, and research that. So I told you a little bit about how to get your app name. It's up here. It says HV202. If you are new and you are not added to our Small Business Success Academy, that's an academy. It's a learning center that you can go log into and learn about Infusionsoft, learn our basics. There's lots of videos in there. There's some campaign builder strategy sessions in there. If you give me your app name, I already have your email address, but if you just give me your app name, I will be able to sign you up for that, and I will do that throughout the day if you give me your app name or the business that you're working for. I can research it and find it. So Judy just put it in. Thanks, Judy. I'm not sure if I added you yet, but if, if you did not get, if you asked to be added and you did not get added yet, you didn't get an email, check your spam folder first and then email me at basictraining@infusionsoft.com and say that you didn't get it, but I will add you if you give me your app name. I will totally add you to the SBSA, Small Business Success Academy. It's free and it will really help you. You can also send questions to basic training at infusionsoft.com and I will definitely get a hold of you. So Judy, the other Judy, there's a Judy with an eye on here. She said, you may have already added me. Um, so Judy, check your spam folder or check your emails and see if you got an email from with the SBSA login credentials. You'll get a username and a password, and it's free. So it's always fun when something's free. So thank you for joining me. Tomorrow's the best, best webinar ever. Tomorrow is how we learn about the campaign builder. We're going to make a simple campaign. People have made simple campaigns and made thousands of dollars. So it's really easy to do. It's super fun. I hope you'll join me, and I hope that this was valuable for you. We had a couple technical difficulties, but we got past them, and I hope that you guys learned what you need to do to create your first email broadcast. And definitely add me, and let me take a look at it, and I will definitely let you know if I see anything that's not right. So thanks for joining me. Hope you have a great Wednesday, and hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.